Hey everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. In today's video, I'm so excited to finally be sharing with you my craft room slash new filming space that I just recently put together. If you guys remember that old boring gray wall that I used to have behind where I filmed, well, it wasn't cute and I knew that I needed to do something, but I wanted it to be functional and I also wanted it to be inexpensive and something that I could share with you guys and give you guys tips for your own craft space. I knew the most expensive part of what I wanted to do was cabinetry. And so I went to Habitat for Humanity and I really started to look and scour through their cabinets to find what I wanted. So I started to look at their kitchen cabinetry because it's really long and I know at Habitat for Humanity I can get it for a really inexpensive price. So after a few weeks, I was able to find this cabinet. I'm getting ready to leave Habitat for Humanity right now and look at this thing. I have this huge six and a half feet cabinet. I picked this up for $90 and it's got like a top to it and I think it's gonna be perfect to use as the base for my backdrop. Here's a look at the back of the shelving unit and the backboard came off so we need to put that back on and then when we were moving it there's a little area over here that we need to fix up with wood glue The back piece of the cabinet had actually fallen off when we were transporting it. So my husband used the existing staples and all we did was hammer them back in place and we didn't have to use any additional staples. Here is the cabinet that I picked up from Habitat for Humanity. The reason that I really love it is because I was wanting something that had symmetrical cabinets in a row. I tried to find something as well that had a top to it, and then I was wanting something that was a little bit skinnier. So I'm gonna clean it up, and then painting will be my next step. I knew that I wanted my cabinets to be bright white, so to start off, I took painter's tape and I taped off the counter portion because I didn't want to paint that. Then I decided to use my Waverly White chalk paint and I painted the cabinets with two coats of Waverly White. That's all it took to cover the cabinet. Next, I removed the tape from the countertop and I did a little bit of sanding on the edge of the countertop because I knew that I wanted to come in and put some of my dark wax on there and there was that polyurethane kind of clear coat on there so I did a little bit of sanding along the edge. Next, I took clear wax by Annie Sloan and I did clear wax on the edge of the countertop and I also did it on my cabinetry as well. The clear wax is just going to seal it and protect it if it gets any nicks or anything. I decided that I wanted to darken up the edge of my countertop, so I came in with my Annie Sloan Dark Wax and I applied two coats with the dark wax. The cool thing about it is you can continually add coats to make it even darker. Above my cabinet, I decided that I wanted to add a pegboard. Hey guys, we're at Lowe's and I wanted to show you the boards that we're gonna pick up for the pegboard. Okay, so I'm getting this white pegboard and it's $20 and it's four feet by eight feet. 
My husband then used two by four boards to build a frame to position the pegboard on the wall. Because when you attach a pegboard, you wanna make it a little bit farther away from the wall so that you can stick in your hooks. After we attached the frame to the wall, then we attached our pegboard, just screwing it in along the edge. So my next step is figuring out what I want to put on the pegboard. Yesterday I was at Walmart, I picked these up, they're like heavy duty peg hooks and they fit a 3 inch board on there. So I had my husband cut me some boards, this is 3 inches across and it's 1 inch but just at like different varying sizes and then my plan is, is to put them with the hooks on the pegboard, and then I can use them to add in decorative items. So that's my plan right now. So what I think I'm gonna do, I don't like how light the wood is, so instead of staining them, I think I'm gonna add some dark wax to it just to give it a similar look to this. Now this is a different kind of wood, so I'm gonna have to kind of play with it and see if I can get it to be a similar color, but I'm going for more of a light, natural wood. So I'm gonna add the dark wax and see how it goes. Next, it's on to the fun part. I began pulling items from around my house and my craft room to decorate my pegboard with. Okay, so I've been wanting to use more recycled items. So these are actually olive containers from Aldi's and I think they're a really pretty jar. I've been saving these for, I think I have 10 of them. So <laughs> I've been saving them for a little bit but I'm thinking about painting the top of the lids and then I just grabbed varying items from my craft room and filled up the jars. And then I'm thinking that I'll just paint the lids all a different color. So I have that. Um, I put some pencils in just a clear jar. I have all of these markers and this is just a little vase from Ikea. So I put all the markers in here, and uh, let's see, I recently grabbed this at Dollar Tree, so I may use that. I like to just grab out all of my home decor and you know use what I can use. Um, I just put this, this is one of those olive containers, and I put some pencils in there. I thought maybe my painter's tape. Let's see what else I have. Okay, so this little white container I just put in um, what are these? Oh, those foam paint brushes that I use all the time. So I also found this gray tote. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. It still has the tag on it. I haven't even used it. So I thought this might be cool to put like some colorful yarn in it. I don't have enough yarn, so I put that on my list to pick that up. And then I also pulled out all of my paints. And I wanted it, let's see. I wanted the paint to be able to fit across one of these big boards and I had enough that like looked nice. So I don't need to pick up any paint tomorrow. Since this is going to be my backdrop to my videos, I wanted some decorative items. In a normal craft room, probably I wouldn't put these up, but I do have like a little picture frame of my girls. And this is another little sign that I love. This, it says, my happy place. That's from Dollar Tree. So I'm at Walmart right now and I'm trying to find some items to put on the shelf that's going to go on my pegboard in my craft room. So let's go see what we can find. I think I'm gonna grab one of these sets of foam sheets. They're only 97 cents, and I think it would look good sitting out on the edge of the shelf there. And it's cheaper to get this than to do scrapbook paper. This paint set is super cute for 2.97. I think it'll be really cute sitting out, so I'm gonna grab this. 
I'm also gonna grab six really colorful sets of yarn. I think they'll look really cool sitting in that container. Next, I'm going to space out the shelves on the pegboard so that they have good symmetry. Okay, you guys, I think I'm happy with where all the shelves are placed. So now's the fun part. I get to go in and decorate each shelf. Everything is starting to take shape, but I'm starting to fill in holes where I think I need some things. So I found this jar because I felt like I needed something large over here. This I had sitting out in the fall. I picked it up at a thrift store and painted the top this color. Uh, it still has pumpkins in it, so I went and I found some succulents I had, so I'm gonna try to fill this up using succulents. I was thinking that I needed something up top. So I went through all of my banners and party stuff and I have this colorful banner that I'm gonna try to put along the top. And to make this, all I did was cut out triangles of scrapbook paper and then I used my sewing machine just to sew them together. I'm gonna try to use some of my hooks up top to put this in place. And that's it, you guys. Here's how it looks all put together. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments below what you think of my new craft room slash filming room space. I really hope that you were able to get a few ideas that you could incorporate in your space. Hopefully some budget friendly ideas. If you guys are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe so you can see me doing some great DIYs in this space. And if you missed our last Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna link it right here so you guys can watch that video next. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.